Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's talk about the gyroscope. But before we actually talk about how the gyroscope works and why it does what it does, we need to become familiar again with the concept of torque because that has a lot to do with what a gyroscope does. The concept of torque most of us are familiar with is so let's say we have a tool here, a wrench, and we want to turn the bolt. The action of the force at the end of the wrench right here, we apply a force F. The distance from the position where the bolt rotates to where the force is, is acting, and of course I should make that clear that this runs all the way to this point right there. That's called the position vector. And then when you want to find the torque, all you have to do is multiply via the cross product the position vector times the force. Now if you use your right hand rule, you point your fingers in the direction of the position vector, then you curl your fingers in the direction of the force, your thumb will point in the direction of the torque. Now this is where that becomes a little bit more mysterious. Why does a torque, the vector of the torque, point straight out from the bolt? What is, what is the meaning of that? And in most cases we just tend to ignore that, we just want to get the magnitude of the torque, especially when we want to solve statics problems. But when we deal with gyroscopes, that direction will become very important. The reason why it becomes important is because there's a relationship between an object that has angular momentum, indicated by this L right here, and we can see that if a torque is applied to an object that has angular momentum, the change in the angular momentum will be equal to the, not just the magnitude of the torque, but also the direction of the torque times dt. And if you solve that equation for the torque, you can see that the torque then causes a change in the angular momentum per unit time. And that is where, when you apply a torque to a gyroscope, then something will happen. There will be a change in the angular momentum, and that will require force acting at a distance. So now that you understand that there is a, an importance to the direction of the torque, especially when you apply it to a gyroscope, you can see that the torque will then cause a change in the angular momentum. Because after all, a gyroscope is made out of a disc that tends to spin, and a spinning disc does have angular momentum. So now that we understand that again, let's now go and see how that works when we apply a torque on a gyroscope. 